Hey lovelies, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and share this video with everyone you know. So today is my June health update. And you guys, I am so excited because today was my doctor's appointment. Uh, as you guys know from my previous video, I had an appointment set up with my diabetes doctor but that was for next Monday, which is June the 10th, which is the day before my birthday. But my granddaughter has an award show and it's the last day of school. So I couldn't make that appointment and my diabetes doctor is going to be out of the country. So I couldn't set an appointment sooner than September. So I went to my regular doctor today. So my goal was to have her say either I was pre-diabetic or I had no longer had diabetes. So you guys, I'm so excited. You are a, officially looking at someone who is in the pre-diabetic range. I, okay, let me just get to the number. The number is, <clears throat> drum roll please. 5.5, you guys, my numbers were 5.5 for my A1C this morning and I am so ecstatic. I will tell you guys, that is the lowest it has been since I have been diagnosed with diabetes. I think when I was diagnosed with diabetes, I was at like 12.6 or something like that. But that is the lowest I have ever, ever been. So uh, that is pre-diabetes. And uh, I... It's funny, I'll just give you like a little background on our uh, uh, appointment and our conversation today. So when I went in... And the nurse uh, took my uh, blood pressure, which was one, 120 over 82. Um, and in my opinion, that's kind of high for me. My blood pressure is usually very low, so I've never had a problem with high blood pressure. Uh, but she asked me about my medication. She goes through my medication list, and she's like, you're still taking this? And I'm like, no. She's like, are you still taking this? I'm like, no. <laughs> and she's kind of looking at me like, I'm like, look, all I'm taking right now is the metformin. I'm not taking the Jardians, this, this, and that. So what it came down to was I'm taking the aspirin in the morning uh, because I'm still a heart patient. I am taking the metformin, which I'm about to stop taking. I am taking, um, I am taking Topamax with uh, magnesium. And I'll probably start stop taking that soon. And um, what else am I taking? I am not taking melatonin currently only because I ran out and I'm going to buy some more. That helps me sleep. Uh, what else am I taking? I'm taking a B-complex vitamin. And I think that's all I'm taking. But I'm not taking the insulin anymore. I'm not taking the Jardians. I'm not taking the statin. I'm not taking anything else besides the um, metformin. So when my doctor came in, she goes, good news, you're down seven pounds, even though I beg to differ because our scales, the scale that I have here is about five pounds different, a five pound difference from what she has. She has that I weigh 170. I have that I weigh 165. And I'm going to go by my scale, not because I'm trying to be facetious, but because that's the scale that I've been weighing on since day one. So um, she said, I'm happy that you're down seven pounds however i'm not happy that you're off your medication and i'm just like look i'm just gonna be real with you i had to take my health into my own hands um and i just had the discussion with her about how i was just sick and tired of being sick and tired and i'm like look either i'm going to kill myself with trying to get myself well or i'm going to let you guys with your medications kill me and i would rather let myself kill myself with trying to get well then let your medications kill me and she she was very understanding and she you know she was like I'm sorry that I wasn't uh as, as supportive and I'm like you know it's not that you know because and I just told, kept it real with her I'm like because that last diabetes doctor that I had he wasn't worth crap and I couldn't remember his name then I remember it now and I just won't even mention his name one um because I you know I'm trying to be a kinder, gentler person. So I won't even mention his name, but he wasn't worth crap. 
um, because he didn't care uh, uh, about me as a person. Uh, but the doctor that I talked to today, um, again, I, I've said this in previous videos, she is a nice person. I just think that she didn't understand um, completely what I was trying to do. Um, she probably has patients come in there all the time saying, oh, I'm sick of the diabetes, I wanna get off. And they say it, they don't really mean it, or they say it, they don't know how, or whatever the case may be, I don't know. Uh, but I just had to take it in my own hands. And um, she knows that I am trying the keto, or I am doing the keto uh, lifestyle. She actually is for the keto lifestyle. She has a master's in um, nutrition. So she understands that so she was very proud of that and i actually left walked away feeling very good i actually had to give her a hug um because it, it, i was just so happy <clears throat> and our conversation was just so heartfelt and heartwarming that um i i really felt good um and she was telling me that um if i can pretty much get the intermittent fasting down uh you know good that it kind of acts like the metformin. The purpose of the metformin is to lower the blood sugar. Well, so does intermittent fasting. So she wants to see me in three to six months. And there's a possibility if I can get this intermittent fasting down to a T and get my blood sugars to stay, because I told her what my sugars were. They're anywhere from 72 to 99. I think it was 99 this morning only because I had some bread. Um, but... If I can get it down, she would take me off my metformin, and that's all I want to hear. And she said at that point, you know, she said they, they, they would have to put in my chart that I'm still a diabetic, but I would be in remission. Look, doctor, I love you to death, but you put what you want in your chart. <laughs> but at that point, I will no longer be a diabetic. You can put remission whatever i'm not a diabetic so um that's what i'm claiming and i know they have to do that for medical reasons or whatever but um i'm not diabetic and um so that's what my next goal is to shoot for um to get off that metformin and um to uh, get this intermittent fasting down so uh, she didn't check my cholesterol. I didn't want to initially get my cholesterol checked, but she did say with the keto that once you start, uh, they like to wait a while because with keto, your cholesterol gets worse before it gets better. So it wouldn't be an accurate reading of what's going on. So, and I'm cool with that. So she said she's not even worried about that. And I'm cool with that. So, um, and I, I declined my statin. I just told her I'm just not taking a statin period. So we'll just see how it is in three to six months and we'll just take it from there. But I was just so happy when she said that 5.5, you guys, I wanted to jump up out of my skin. Y'all just don't know, but I'm just so happy. So where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? I keep doing what I'm doing. I keep up with the keto lifestyle. Um, and she was saying, you know, it is hard for some people. And, and, and I do realize it is hard for some people. I thought it would be hard for me uh, because uh, she was mentioning limitations. And for some people, they might seem like it's a limiting lifestyle. But as I learn more and more about it, it actually isn't. I mean, it is limiting on the carbs, but you just find more things. This, what this has done, this has allowed me to look outside my comfort zone. You know, as a typical person, we eat the same foods all the time. It's the same foods all the time. We don't venture out to look at other foods and try something different. And this has allowed us to venture out and try things that are different, just within those carb guidelines. And um, I'm cool with that. You know, um, this doesn't say that every now and then I can't treat myself. You got to be careful with that because what I've done is I've paid attention to what spikes my blood sugars. As I've said before in previous vlogs, uh, I can eat berries like strawberries and blackberries without little to no uh, spike in my blood sugar. Now they do have carbs, so I still have to be careful. Uh, but I know like cherries, I love cherries. They will spike my sugar a little bit. So I have to make sure I'm not eating those all the time. Now for some reason, and go figure, it has a lot of water content, but watermelon will spike my blood sugar. I don't know why. The water content 
you would think would not would just you know but it spikes my sugar so I know I can't have that you know of course I can't have cake you know but I'm getting around that because I'm finding different recipes to make uh, you know cake and things using almond flour coconut flour uh, and things like erythritol and uh, stevia and things like that so I'm getting around that so it's not too limiting um, I probably can't have I'll take that back I actually can have chocolate frosting because I can just get some cream cheese and put some cacao powder and some stevia and there voila I have chocolate frosting I can have cream cheese or frost I'm so stop looking at what you're limited to and just kind of look outside the box because that's what I've started doing and I realize it's really not so limiting uh, you could eat now I can't speak if, if you're a vegetarian I, I won't even try to speak on that because I know a lot of meats don't have carbs so you can eat a lot of meats on it and I try to get most of my carbs from the vegetables I eat this is how I'm motivated to eat a lot of vegetables that's where I get most of my carbs from so um if you're a vegetarian right now, I can't help you because I'm not on that road. So um, there are resources out there that can help you if you're vegetarian. So I'm talking to people who are not who are not vegetarians uh, or vegans. Period. Um, it's funny. I had made some hot and sour soup with some soy products with some tofu, and it tasted good when I first made it. And I made too much, and I froze it, and I thawed it out. Don't freeze tofu. Ugh, it was disgusting so I had to throw that away but anyway back on track so my, I'm, I'm on track I'm doing good I'm losing the weight I'm pre-diabetic currently on my road on the road to being non-diabetic or what they say in remission in, in the medical in the medical world um, I will probably not get to the gym this week because we have a busy schedule here in the Bryant household uh, it is the last full week of school Plus that coupled with doctor's appointments, awards, everything that we have going on is just not going to happen. So I'll get back in the gym, Lord willing, next week. Won't be Monday, another busy day. Tuesday is my birthday, you guys. I will be stepping into the 50 plus and fabulous club. So I'll be doing another update that week. But I'll probably be going to the gym that Wednesday, hopefully. But... I realized I can no longer use, okay, I have a busy schedule, I cannot work out. You guys know, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, that I have tons of workout equipment here in my house. So, even though I can't get to the gym, travel to the gym this week, I will be working out here at home, whether it be uh, a 20, 30 minute workout video, or getting on the bike, or the, or the Stairmaster, or getting some weights or doing something or doing some dancing or whatever the case may be, do, may be I will uh, make an attempt to devote at least 30 minutes a day to trying to get something done, whether it's weights or cardio. So uh, no more excuses. And uh, what else do I have to update on? That's pretty much it. That's the big factor right there because that was the one thing that I was looking for when I went in to this appointment this morning was my A1C. That was the big, the biggest factor. It wasn't weight loss, it wasn't cholesterol, it wasn't blood, uh, high blood pressure, anything but the A1C. And I got what I came for. 5.5, you guys, that number, I'm gonna make up a song. 5.5, 5.5, ooh, ooh, 5.5. <laughs> I know I'm silly, but oh my God, I am so happy. You guys have no idea how freeing that is i no longer have to take these medications that had these constant side effects that were making me sick that were causing other illnesses i mean they were the, the insulin alone was wreaking havoc, havoc on my kidneys my liver you know making me nauseous there were so many days you guys that i could not even get out of bed to work my clients, I'd had to, to call and say, I can't come to our appointment today, or I can't meet you at a site today. I have to cancel this. And to be an entrepreneur, can you imagine, even when I was in corporate America, having to call in sick or be at work throwing up and having to go home, you guys have no idea how freeing this is. And um, 
I just thank God. I just thank God. I just, when I came out of the doctor's office, I just sat in the car. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because you guys have no idea how much this means and what a big step this is. So I just wanted to come on and give you guys the June health update. And uh, I'll probably be giving another update throughout uh, before the month ends uh, because I want to give another weight update because I am going to do a weight loss reveal even though I've just told you how much I've lost uh, but I have a dress that I have that I'm going to do a photo shoot in for my birthday and it's a little slinky thing and it's been a a struggle to try to reach the goal to fit in that dress and look really good in that dress. So I'm going to have a reveal on my birthday and then I'm going to do an update with that dress. So you guys stay tuned. But in the meantime, uh, coming up next will be the, the uh, cheesecake the, the pecan cheesecake squares that I made for Memorial Day. That video will be coming up soon. Expect that video right after this one. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for other videos. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Share this with your family and friends and everyone you know. And stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryan. And you've been watching The Other Side of the Dash. 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, woo!